If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me would you? Well baby I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Hey babes and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Ashley Moore and I am back with another video. Um, this intro is going to be very rushed but as you guys seen by the title, um, I know this is a little different than my usual content but I am going to a bottle girl edition. Um, I'm going to an open call, casting call, whichever we want to call it. Um, do not mind my hair. I'm in the process of fixing that. Um, the humidity definitely messed up my hair. Um, I'm just now coming home from work. It was just raining and it was kind of cool But on the way back to my apartment, it got really hot and on the way walking up to my building I started to sweat. So now I have to shower before I leave Because I'm not about to go there and I smell like outside with me. So um, It's about to be four o'clock. Um, when I started recording it was like 3.55. So yeah, it's pushing four o'clock um Damn, I look sweaty in the face too, bro. Jeez. Okay, what else? Um, casting call starts at 6. They said between the hours at 6 to 7.30. I really wanted to go early, but it's given I'm going to be there a little bit before 6.30 because I have to take a shower and I have to freshen up and I have to eat because I didn't have a break today because I worked um, till 3 from 9 to 3 and, you know, that doesn't qualify for a break. So, yeah, so I really am just going to leave at 6.00 which is blowing me because I kind of want to be there by six, but it is what it is. And I'm actually very positive about this, though I don't have any experience as a bottle girl or working in the nightclub or in the nightlife industry at all. I did get a response from them today about um, the casting call because they did say, they did two. The first one, I didn't go because they said to DM them for interview slots. When I DM them, I didn't get a response and I didn't want to just pull up because I didn't know how they were doing it. So I just didn't go. But they're doing another one this Wednesday because it, so this was last Wednesday. But they're doing another one this Wednesday and um, I DM'd them. Um, they posted it on Monday. So I got a response today while I was at work um, saying, okay, well, we have um, auditions from 6 to 7.30. Are you available? And I was like, yes. And this is a big club, at least in this city. The fact that they responded to me was like kind of like kind of an affirmation. Like, usually when it's a big club or a popular club, they don't really respond to DMs. So the fact that my DM was responded to, let me let me get dressed and go. And then next clip, I look like ten times better, and I'll show you guys my fit and all that other stuff before I leave. So yeah, I'll be back. But before I dip off to get ready, you guys already know what to do. Make sure to hit the like button, comment, share this video with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe to your girl because we're on this side where all the rest of the more babes are at, and that is a big period. Okay. And without further ado, let's get into the video and I'll be back. And I'm back. Okay, so <sighs> getting ready was kind of chaotic. That's why my mood is kind of like, I'm not wearing an outfit that I wanted to wear. My hair could look a bit better, but it's nice. It's late, it's giving lace wear, but still, cause it's balding right here. So I had to like really blend that in. I'm wearing earrings. I'm gonna put on another accessory, like my watch or whatever. I'm gonna put that on um, on my way out the door. I'm wearing like this black um, body contrast. Cause y'all probably saw on the camera that I'm wearing slides. This is just my house shoes. I'm really about to wear heels. You know what, I'm just gonna stop talking and I wanna get my stuff and I wanna head out. So I guess I'll see you guys at the club. If I'm not able to see you guys at the club, I'll just see you guys when I get home and I guess update y'all. So let me go. Hey y'all, so I'm back. Um, I got my mini tripod on the ground, so this angle might look a little weird, my bad, but. So um, I've been home. It's pushing 1 a.m. right now, but I've been home for like hours now. I came home and I made myself some dinner. Then after that, well, during that, I've been on the phone with my family like for hours. Let's talk about it. Um, the interview was actually kind of fun. Well, not kind of fun. It was fun to tell. <laughs> um, 
I came in, I kind of tried to get a clip, but I didn't want to be like too like hot with it. But when I've been watching like bottle girl videos um, before this moment, they either be on some, you're going to be in and out, or you might be waiting for some time because of the whole like, there's a lot of bottle girls there. I mean, it's a lot of girls for the same position. And you know, when it's the second casting call, it's going to be more girls in the second casting call than the first one. Ooh, woo. And for my case, this really is the second casting call because like I told y'all earlier, they had another one last Wednesday, but I didn't go. So, I went to this one, but I was the only one that was there. I filled out like my little application because they had like a little application, clipboard, whatever, whatever. I sat down. I sat down and then, you know, I filled out my application. Um, I kind of tried to get like a little clip of that. I didn't want to be like too hot on my phone because I'm like the only one there. So I was like, mm. and then after that, um, I went to the office, you know, went to like have a little interview, whatever. Then, you know, we was like getting to know each other. And he was like telling me himself, like, don't be like, like, this is not like a corporate job, not a fire type interview. Like, this is like some chill shit. So, like, just be chill. Ooh, ooh. So, like, just be yourself. You know? If you know me personally, you already know, like, I'm already like a goofy. Okay, I don't really have to say too much about that. If you know me in real life, you know me in real life. Like, my personality is, like, not normal. He kind of got a taste of that. Well, not kind of. He really got a taste of that, of my goofy, uh, bubbly personality. Because, like, ooh, Charlie Horse. I'm not really a shy person, so it's, like, it's crazy because, like, of course, I've been known as, like, the quiet, shy kid, like, growing up. But, like, I don't know. Like when she hit like a certain Asian life, like what do you, what do you really shy for? Like what do you really shy for? Like what are you nervous out here for? Oh, one more thing. So you know how I said I was gonna wear my white heels from the last vlog. Um, I actually ended up not wearing any heels. I wore my Michael Core slides. Um, not slides. My thong slippers with the black dress. My little MCM bag. You know what I'm saying? My hair looking how it's looking. Makeup, makeup baby. So it was giving, you know, cute. I'm actually glad that I didn't wear heels anyway. Um, so that's good. Um, I did bring my resume, all that other stuff. That's another thing, he didn't ask my resume. But a lot of these bottle girls be like, yeah, bring your resume, bring your resume. And I brought a resume and it wasn't asked for. Which is fine. He already had my Instagram up on the computer anyway, so I don't really see the point. But they have my IG and they have my phone number and my name. He told me that I got hired, I got hired on the spot, so. Yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm about to wash this off, like I said, and go to bed. So, I'll see you guys when I see y'all guys. So, bye. Hey, guys. So, it is days later since the interview. Uh, my interview was on Wednesday. Today is Saturday. I may or may not put the clip before this one, but I did get back on camera the night I came back from my interview when I was a little tipsy. But since it's been days later, and we haven't really talked about what happened when I went over there. Um, I'm going to try to make this not too long. Like I said, your girl got the job or whatever. Hired on the spot, baby. I've seen a lot of videos when you be like, either um, it's going to be a long process because there's going to be a lot of girls interviewing at the same time. Or if it is just you being seen one-on-one -on -one at that moment. It's like a five minute in and out thing. Um, for me, that was not the case. The interview was short, but I didn't leave right after it was over. Like, dude was really vibing with me the rest of the time that I was there. Um, I got there like 6.30. I didn't leave until basically almost nine. He showed me around the um, club a little bit. Um, he asked me questions, I asked him questions. You know, um, we were just like, having a chat like he, i guess he just wanted to like get to know me like as a person and all the other stuff so we kind of had that conversation he actually gave me some shots to um two shots of costa um he gave me a third but i had work the next morning so i definitely didn't take that third shot um too it's cool the mess of me like taking shots like you know it was like more laid back i mean i'm already like a chill bubbly person anyway but like you know, the teeny bit of shots had me like, you know. Yeah, so here are a couple of signs that I have telling me that I got hired. Before I left, he followed me like the from the club page. Um, so now we follow each other, the club follows me. 
The club's page follows my page and I follow them, but I was already following them because one thing about looking for positions, follow these clubs, okay? Then not only that, the guy who was interviewing me, he personally put his number in my phone um, and that was that. But considering that the interview had like already been done, I was like, so what's up with the interview? And he's like, the interview been over and I'm like, okay, so. Did I get the job or not? <laughs> so he said, yeah. Um, and I asked him again like two, three more times about the whole time I was still there. Cause that was another sign that he asked me, that he had me like staying like within the club for like some time just to like chit chat. Mind you, he was having open interviews from six to 7.30 and I was definitely there past seven. To, mm, excuse me, I come. I was definitely there past 7.30 and that the whole time out there ain't nobody came. But I think somebody had came before me cause I had peeped another like application on his desk um, under mine. He said that I got the job. Apparently I got hired on the spot.